What advice would you give to a young person, high school, college, about how to be successful? You've done a lot of incredible things in the past decade. So maybe, maybe you have some. There's something. There might be something. There might be something. <laughs> I mean, might sound like a simplistic or so, but I would say literally just follow your passion, double down on it. And if you don't know what's your passion, just figure out what could be a what could be a passion. So the step might be an exploration. When I was in elementary school, it was math and chemistry. And I remember for some time I gave up on math because my school teacher, she told me that I'm dumb. And I, I, I guess maybe an advice would be just ignore people if they tell <laughs> you that you are dumb. <laughs> You're dumb. You mentioned something offline about chemistry and explosives. Um, what was that about? So let's see. <laughs> so a story goes like that. I can. Uh, I I got into <laughs> chemistry. Maybe I was like a second uh, grade of my elementary school, third grade. Uh, I started going to chemistry classes. Uh, I I I really love building stuff, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I did all the experiments that they describe in the book, like uh, you know how to create oxygen with vinegar and uh, and, and baking soda or so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I did all the experiments, and at some point I was you know so what's next? What can I do? And uh, explosives they also it's like a you have a clear reward signal you know if the thing worked or not. So I remember at first I got I got interested in producing hydrogen. That was kind of funny experiment from school. You can just burn it. And then I moved to uh, nitroglycerin. So that's also relatively easy to synthesize. I started producing essentially uh, dynamite and uh, detonating with it with a friend. I remember there was a, you know, there was at first like a maybe two attempts that I went with a friend to detonate what we built and it didn't work out. And like a third time he was like, ah, it won't work. Like, uh, let's don't waste time. And um, you now we were, I was carrying this, uh, this, you know, the tube with dynamite, I don't know, pound or so, mm -hmm. dynamite in my backpack. Mm -hmm. We're like uh, riding on the bike to the edges of the city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, attempt number three. This was be attempt number three. Attempt number three. And uh, you now we, we dig a hole to, uh, put it inside. It actually had the, uh, you know, a electrical detonator. We we draw a cable behind the tree. I even, I, I never had, I haven't ever seen like a explosion uh, before. So I thought that there will be a lot of sound. And mm -hmm. um, but you know we we're like uh, laying down and I'm holding the cable and the battery. At some point, you know, we kind of like a three to one, and uh, I, I just connected it and it felt like at the ground shaked. It was like a more like a yeah. uh, sound, and then the soil started kind of lifting yeah. up and started falling on us. Yeah, wow. And then uh, you now the friend said, "Let's let's make sure the next time we have helmets." <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, you know, kind of I'm happy that nothing happened to me. Yeah. It could have been the case that I, I I lost the limb or so. Yeah, but that's childhood of uh, of an engineering mind with a strong reward signal of an explosion. I love it. I, <laughs> my the, There's some aspect of uh, chemists, the, the, the chemists I know, like my dad with plasma chemistry, plasma physics, he was very much into explosives too. It's a worrying quality of, <laughs> of people that work in chemistry that they, they love. I think it is that exactly is the, the strong signal that the thing worked. It's, there is no doubt. There's no doubt. There's some magic. It's almost like a reminder that physics works, that chemistry works. It's cool. It's almost like a little glimpse at nature that you yourself engineer. I that's why I really like artificial intelligence, especially robotics, is you create a little piece of nature. And in some sense, even for me with explosives, the motivation was creation rather than yeah. destruction. Yes, exactly.